Hello there everybody and welcome back to episode 3 of my tutorial series for the marshlands in Against the Storm. So this, this is basically one run where I'm documenting pretty much everything that can possibly go wrong in one run. And I also want to apologize for a really big derp on my side. As I kept stating that flour is a really bad resource for this um, biome, I was so wrong. I, I'm really sorry about that, brain fart. The fact that you can gather mushrooms from, from, from each and every tree here means that you have a material that can be ground into flour permanently. That is really something I needed to correct because that I, I turned off the recording software after the previous episode and it uh, dawned on me how dumb I was and I meant to share you my my wisdom so we could have uh, we could have drafted completely different and it would have been more effective but let's use that as an example of how sometimes things don't work out as intended and you still make it out alive or at least that's what I intend to do. At the beginning of today, we are in a pretty spicy and uh, unfavorable situation. We got a lot of people here. Our food income looks really dry and our order roster here doesn't look too um, wonderful either. So we will, though, get ourselves through a lot of things here by upgrading the small hearth here. So we get two points more. That means one new blueprint is up ahead of us, but we really gotta work hard now. So to get that done, let's check on out if we have a building that can be run with yellow water. So we got so far only the makeshift posts. It's not necessarily the, the, the building that I want to let run on uh, clearance water, but uh, well, I guess it is what it is. So we need packs of building materials. Let's see what we can make these out of. So we got to do two things now. First up, we need to follow through a couple of orders. And secondly, we got to get ourselves into a position where we can start winning this game. So for now, the best chance that I see for doing this lies in a mixture of trade and resolve because we can buff up resolve via trade and hopefully we get a uh, cornerstone or two that might help us out in that regard. Currently this is one of these runs where I feel like we're uh, a little bit aimless. It's partially because I did a bad job in focusing this run but it's also in all seriousness sometimes you just get a bad hand dealt and you gotta do something about it and with it so let's try that i need to restrict that here as well but now we don't have anything they can eat anymore so that won't work out either we don't have flour to make anything here so it's wishful thinking to forbid the um mushrooms because if I would, that would lead to starvation. So instead, we're going to put the uh, lizards into the uh, kiln, where they hopefully can make us some more food. It's the best we can do for now. So that leaves me with six beavers that don't have anything to do right now. That bothers me tremendously. We have half a storm season that we could spend with something. We should spend with something. So, well, let's hold down left control yet again. So, I I am going to poke the bear now. So, we're going to raise the uh, hostility bar. And once things get bad, we are just going to um, unemploy these guys again. So our hostility or our resolve can bounce back up. Ugh, seriously? Can't place a second dude here? Jeez, we need to get rid of a couple of these caches. I mean, caches are inherently good. We have a lot of these on this run. 
that means we got a lot of opportunity to um, to create some extra resolve and uh, not resolve um, reputation with that. Both words start with the same letters. That makes me mistake them. So we're going to prepare for a hasty explorer. I think next year we're going to spend the time with just preparing for that, and I'm praying for some good drafts. So as it stands right now, you might notice that we don't have any problem with the hostility here. Yes, it goes into terribly high numbers, but before anybody can leave town, the storm season is over. So that'll work out just sw swimmingly like that. It's really important to start playing with the hostility more and more, as for example, we got a little bit extra done. We got a couple of those trees cut down, and it's important that we do. So, well, let's see, we can get ancient tablets for a Glade event resolve, and I'm sold. This will get us somewhere. Not right away, but uh, sometime soon. Okay, now then, I have to build a couple of benches still. Two can go here, two can go there, and now... Happiness bounces back up. And what can we do here? Selling meat doesn't sound like the best choice right now, as this is currently the only thing that we're uh, living off of. Okay, we can do the water delivery thing uh, probably this season as well, as both of these machines are working under full pressure. That's good for us. So, let's... Uh, see well we have lack of material to work with but well not much longer so zork my man what's in store today so we can buy flour and uh herbs from this guy and let's see how far does this take us? Well, that looks good so far already. Let's pay up with a little bit of sea marrow. There we go. So with that mixture, we can make ourselves some food. There we go. That makes some fine biscuits. So let's speed up a little bit because we should get newcomers. All right, so uh, I wish I would had a, a package with more lizards, but let's take that one. And uh, at least one lizard joined. And let's see. So skewers can be made with meat. That is excellent. And mushrooms. But, uh, well, we got a little bit of veg. So let's make sure nobody eats these things. So now we are at a spot where we can finally start working on our food um situation decently i mean we got to import the flour as it stands right now but it's okay it's just it's a start okay brilliant so thanks zork that was uh, quite the push and this is a real nice showcase about how much of a uh, boost some money spending can can give you I really feel like. So, tool making, please only with planks, you fools. And here we go. So, it'll take a second more to get this done, but we're almost there. So, one more house, and this is looking so spooky. But uh, our workshops will crank out food in a very short amount of time. Here is already something in the making, so it really looks worse than it uh, than it is. Okay, we still got a lot of idle hands, which is currently with all the building projects at hand fully okay. But, well, we got to keep an eye out on that, as I don't want to escalate that on me. Alright, so let's pick up the neighborhood reward and the booming economy reward. Damn. 
Let's see, what do we get here? A ranch, a brickyard, a scribe, and a clothier. So the ranch we can use to, to do what? Can we use the ranch at all? I highly doubt it. In all honesty, in this uh, domain, this is not really the best item of choice. Jeez. This is one of those runs where it seems as if every draft is really like working against me. And in all fairness, sometimes that just happens. Here's the provisioner that we've skipped before, and I won't be skipping that one another time as we got, like I said, a constant influx of mushrooms and I... I take this, uh, I try to, I try to make this an apology to the forest in my, uh, in my mistakes here. Okay, that's all we need. We can totally go away from that one and prep up the next uh, dangerous glade memory. Where was it? Here. So here we have a very uh, thin membrane to breach. And I got to keep an eye out on my mine. You see, that's one downside of mines. They are all nice and dandy until they run out. But luckily we've unlocked upgrades like these, but that also means that we got to ke uh, keep an eye out on the uh, restockage here. So we are very soon going to run out of uh, coal in this mine if we are not going to upgrade it. All right, so this is a very precarious situation and I'm not feeling too comfortable with my situation overall as we have a lot of things not working out too well and yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling the pressure on me. This comes from a couple of missed decisions from my side. Clearly, I could have done a couple of things better, especially the flower situation, but I think we are catching back up now as there is a flood of... Uh, food items now coming on up, which will help us to uh, get back out of that situation right now. I've had it many a times with this game that the situation looked quite grim for a hot minute before it bounced back up into a positive state of things. It's just important that we don't uh, stop growing in uh, terms of uh, stability. So our trapper's camp is uh, empty now. So that's the last pile of eggs up there and it is a really far away pile of eggs. So yeah. Ugh, that, that is not good. The worst problem that my city is facing right now is an urgent lack of uh, hearts. We're running out of these. But with a uh, location up here, we totally need those parts now. So, let's see. I totally should uh, cleanse the haunted beaver house with the people that we got. So let's uh, calculate it. We get a minus three to global resolve every 45 seconds. Hell no, we can't stomach that. Not right now. As I said before, the situation here is uh, very, uh, very, very precarious, and uh, I am happy that I can crank out a couple of uh, rewards here, so we can work on the situation better. So, the distillery. Let's see what we can do. Can we make wine? Theoretically, yes. Practically, also. So we should totally aim for something like that. And porridge can be made out of out of various things, so the distillery is going to be an excellent choice. I think I'm going to stick with that. As much as I am tempted to pick up the weaver, I am skipping out on that one here, as we are still very inefficient now in terms of fabric production. Yes, but uh, we are also very effectively uh, bringing the guild house into full swing. That is a big bonus. If you can't get a uh, service building into a full swing like that, your city will really feel the the push up ahead. Speaking about which, we do need a road up there. All right. 
And I really do hope that we're going to have enough resources to upgrade the mine once it runs dry, as currently the city is living off of this. I mean, the coal supply is excellent, and uh, it does get us uh, quite somewhere. The only thing we're lacking is a constant... Is that uh, is constantly wood, as you see there. We could easily have even more woodcutters uh, working here with that, without any problem, uh, problems there. Okay, clearance season is upon us, and uh, I might dare say so, we're actually working on out quite decently. We've got a lot of leather, and food is going upwards as well. So I'm going to export some of that leather. Oh, I, I, I can't do that. I can't do that right now. So we're merely going to export three of that, a, a, a ten stack of that leather, as it is a very vital resource for the city. I feel really bad about exporting it, because without it we will uh, have no supply of fabric anymore, and that is very bad for the city, so let's take it slow. Alright, so housing done. We should be favoring the lizards a wee bit, as we can gain another point of reputation via this. And let's see, is the brick together for the upgrade here? Yes, it is. Brilliant. So we can now go for a faster production or for automatic uh, supply to the uh, warehouse. But I personally love to go for the upgrade that just gives me more raw coal. It's just, to me, one of the best upgrades out there. Okay, so situation is somewhat good, goodish of sorts. We are cranking out a lot of uh, planks here, but the guild house is eating them up in the same uh, in the same uh, speed. So I want to prioritize the provisioner now, as I feel like if I don't, we we will never get this thing together. All right, so. I'll be doing this uh, dangerous glade uncovery thing in the beginning of the next drizzle season, as I feel like this is going to be the best um, choice. Then we got an entire year up, of, up ahead of us to get the situation back under control that we have uh, wrought upon us. So what are we going to do with that uh, remaining time? We need to do... We need to use clearance water, so let's install pipes in the makeshift post. I hate to, to do this, but, uh, well, here goes. We also will need a uh, blight post, but we can't delay that. So, let's see. Blight post. I, I don't even have the parts for that. Jeez. It's not good. So, uh, but, well, I will have the parts for this very soon, so... That is uh, completely okay as all we need to do is to uh, crank up the heat here and let's deliver these materials and we make that and we just let two people work here and we go full on full on blight uh, rain punk not blight generation you know what I mean Okay, so far so good. I mean, with the uh, guild house in operation one day in the far-fetched future, this will become a pretty... Uh, we're going to be in a pretty good situation. I mean, we are cranking out planks decently nice. We still don't do that fast enough, but that is the nature of uh, these surface buildings. They are just costly. But I mean, we are at least now bouncing back on resources. So year five is going to be, for us, a pretty good one. Now that I look at it, we, we gained a lot of reputation points. We uh, got our infrastructure back under control. So yeah, I, I dare say this was a good year for us. So let's go for this. And we are going to grind up uh, these materials up until we have 50 flour. And we are going to make provision packs here. So let's make 10 of these, and we will prefer herbs and uh, just like that. 
So that also means we can now turn off the provision packs on this one. And that is a very beneficial thing. So now we kill two birds with one stone. We use up the clearance water and we uh, do put it to some really good use in form of the building material packs. I'm quite fond of this decision making here so far. <laughs> the next storm season will clap us hard though. As we are now on hostility five, we really need to unemploy the woodcutters pretty much ASAP. So let's uh, release the favoring on the lizards so we can use favoring during the storm again. Would be a shame if we couldn't. And, uh, well, let's drop the uh, axis for a moment. And as you see here, we are already on hostility three. This run, I had a very, very low budget on hostility reducers in general. This is really something that, uh, well, I, I keep saying it because I mean it, that this is one of the runs where I feel like uh, it, it's pretty much a worst case scenario on so many ends. It's amazing me, but uh, well, it's also a pretty good uh, scenario to, to showcase how to, how to live through it, nevertheless, you know. So what do we have here? Uncovered glades. We, we don't have ancient tablets anymore, but uh, this is just made for us as we will gain ancient tablets for sure from somewhere and uh well yeah let's do this this is also giving us the parts that we require and i'm i'm absolutely down for this brilliant we also got the big delivery quest down which will help us now out as well just like that super good now what are we going to do with that wealth i got now a real big bounty of tools and I really want to deactivate the tools for a second, as I feel like the tool production was eating up a lot of my planks. I mean, in all honesty, that's not bad as we're producing uh, raw, hot victory points that way. So I really don't mind, but at the same time, it is like, eh, we could do something better with that. Okay, speaking about doing better things with that, we uh, should really stop wasting our materials now as we got all this done. We don't need this anymore, so let's stop doing this. I think we are going to use this building now for therapeutical um, well, um, things. So let's put our lonely harpy in there. She's in a bad mood. The rain punk engine will help her. And the same goes for this lady here. We're going to replace her. And I think this should get us even stable. Well, somewhat. The lizards will be still uh, negative, but the uh, good thing is, by the time that they go uh, really negative, the storm will be already way past them. Well. I am not using any tools right now out of one simple reason. We want to open two dangerous glades now in a rapid succession. That means there is a high likelihood that we will need those resources quite badly. So, well, you see, I'm pretty sure you understand my decision making here right now. So let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. This place. Let's give this also some yellow water. And that reminds me that I really wanted to set up a blight post and a distillery. We haven't built that either yet. So let's do this right there. What material are we lacking? Planks, of course. So beaver resolve went negative now as well. I wonder why. Would assume that the uh, biscuits ran out or something like that. Let's see, trade route wise, I am not going to sell my scores. It's the same logic as before. I really don't want to sell the stuff that makes me survive. All right. We almost have the guild house completed. This will also bounce back the uh, happiness of our beavers. I mean. It's all fine. Nobody will go under here. There we go. 
We did it. So what get, do we get here? Crowded houses. So, well, we're going to use this this time. It is actually quite a useful thing, as it will provide me with plenty of living room for the people that are currently here. And um, we will get a lot of new faces into town now. And that'll help me to balance that all out. All right, so woodcutter camps go now onto these locations, and it's going to be a very simple operation. So go chopping here, and we go chopping there, and that should open up the glades in rapid succession as ordered. All right, so we got a pretty tough nut here to crack, in all honesty. This is, like I said, one of those runs where things aren't going as intended all the way <laughs> and uh, i find it quite exciting so i take this package here i find them uh, much more fitting to my uh, schemes and here you see we, we got it fully under control we got all the um, necessary housing now with the new people crowded houses helped us here out a lot as in this scenario, it also means we can save on wood, which we couldn't otherwise, so I really do like that. So let's favor some harpies for a hot second. So the first glade has been opened, so we have now three minutes of time. And a blood flower that will eat our food. Well, it could be worse, it even comes with rewards, so... This is uh, the stinky flower is uh, always one of the... Uh, events that I feel like I can't stomach better than others. All right, there goes the next one. And we're going to chop our way through here. Oh, we even got ourselves a clearance water geyser. Nice. If we had the pumps, that is, but uh, well. Let's see, we got a forgotten temple of the sun. So there is the chest of ancient tablets that we require and Tell you what, we're going to dump the uh, wildfire essences in there. Do we have that already in here? Brilliant. So the excess uh, wildfire essences will go in there. And we don't even have to suffer a negative uh, consequence out of that. This is excellent. So what do we have here? Inscribe monolith. Um, well, it is just a decoration which we don't read, need right now, but it's okay. We got a leech brood mother. We got swamp wheat. We got lots of leech brood mother. We got coal veins, so we could replace the uh, mine here. It's really good. And down here, we got more swamp wheat. That's really good. And we got a copper vein and a stone deposit and more caches. Well, all right. That settles it. We also got the Hasty Explorer reward, which is uh, really what we've also been after, as this is now yielding all the things that we need. Now, all I need to do is chop my way through there as well, and employ a couple of people into the guild house. And let's see. Well, we almost got our first, our first, uh, all, uh, our first point in the guild's welfare. So, yeah, like I said before, it's uh, all way different from what I'd call optimal, but it is also no uh, straight out catastrophe, so I'm quite relieved. I see a victory emerging from uh, what we uh, have up ahead of us in form of uh, cash breaking, mostly. So we're going to re-enable the tool making now again. So it'll eat up all of our remaining uh, ingots and uh, planks and whatnot. But it's okay. It's exactly as I want it to be. And yeah, there's one more glade we need to open. That is assigned already. And I'd say we are on a really good way to victory. As we are cracking out way more coal than we need now. And we are setting up another half. So we can then get ourselves new housing areas up. So that should get us somewhere. And there's some more small resource caches up 
and I'd say we are going to get ourselves a forager's camp together for that swamp wheat. I mean, it ain't much, but uh, it's still better than nothing. And I want that geyser pump. As it'll provide that yellow water stuff that we need. It's excellent. So, one uh, these harpies for the blight post. So we can get ourselves some these uh, cysts down and I'd say that's it for this episode thanks everybody for watching we're going to continue next time I'm pretty sure next episode has a very high potential of raking in the victory as we are on a decent spot for doing so but more about that once we are there so feel free to drop me your comment down below a thumbs up would be wildly appreciated and consider subscribing i'd be very very happy to have you there's also a plenty of cool links down below in the description box so feel free to check these out and there is my discord server there's twitch where i stream fridays and sundays evenings in the middle european time zone and there is also paypal patreon buy me a coffee i'd be delighted if you check them out these are the preferred ways of supporting the channel and there's also a membership system that'll allow you to preview all the stuff that i have pre-uploaded before it airs a little bit earlier so that's for you and i hope you enjoyed the show thanks for supporting thanks for sticking around until the very end and have a good time see you soon bye bye